Hey guys, welcome back to Weekly Pattern Wednesday. This week I thought I would do a different type of small project. Not all of my Weekly Pattern Wednesday projects are big. Um, I like to do different types of smaller objects as well. So what we're going to do today is going to be a different type of motif. It is a two colored spiral. These can be done in two, three, four, however many colors you'd like to do them. Um, they're a little bit different uh, to do so just bear with me and I'll go through this as slow as I can to make sure you catch on. So what you're going to need is a hook of any size. You're going to need your stitch marker and you're going to need at least well for this video you're going to need two shades of yarn. Two different colors um, because we are doing the two-toned color. So what you need to do is with the color you choose to work with first you're going to make your magic circle. Okay, get that situated in your hand. You're going to chain one. Let me get zoomed in a bit. Then you're going to do a single crochet inside that circle. Then you'll do a half double crochet. And then you'll do two double crochets all inside your center ring. Alright, and you can shut this up a bit. Don't completely shut it. You're not finished here. So what you want to do with this first ring is you're going to pull your hoop out or your hook out. And this is where I'm going to stick my stitch marker in. Um, and if you want to snap it, you can. That's going to prevent that stitch from going anywhere because I need to get back to that stitch. Alright, here you're going to take your second color and I am just going to um, make this a slip knot that way the color itself doesn't come unraveled. Okay, so my yarn's going everywhere. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take the piece, you're going to kind of flip it upside down to where you can get into the center ring. So you're going to take your second color and you're just going to join it. Just like you would any other color when you're trying to do a color change, you're just going to join. Then you're going to chain one and then you're going to do the same um, stitch um, idea in the same sequence. So you're going to do a single crochet, a half double crochet, and two double crochets. So one and two. Alright, and you can pull this shut if you like at this point. Kind of look like you got a little pair of wings here. Alright, working with the same second color, you're going to work two double crochet in the single crochet of your A color. So gray was the beginning color, mauve is the B color, so that's your second. You're going to go to your single crochet here on your gray side and you're going to do two double crochet here. So you're basically going to do increasing. So there's one, two. Now you'll move on to what was our half double crochet in the gray and you'll do two double crochet here. So one, two, then you'll move on to your two double crochet. So here's your first, so you'll do two double crochet in the first and you'll do two in this second, um, but it's a little different you're going you're not going to go inside of that stitch you're going to actually just do it normal you're not going to go inside this part you're just going to go inside this ring so you're going to do two double crochet here okay so once you have those two worked in there you're going to remove your hook from here okay and pull this up and you'll take whatever um, you had that hook to take it out and you're just going to put it in your second color and now you're back to your original first color this little knot here I'm gonna have to move it okay so you're back to your original color 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to do two double crochet in the first single crochet of B. So B is going to be your second color. So you're going to do the same process. You're going to go up to your single crochet of this color and you're going to do two double crochet which is an increase. So one, two, and then you're just going to do that all the way around. So then you're going to go to your half double crochet and you're going to do two doubles. Then you're going to go to your double crochet, your first one, and then you're going to do two doubles in that as well. Your next one, you'll do two doubles. Okay, so you see how that's working a spiral? So when you get, you've got it in your single crochet, you've worked two doubles in the single crochet already, you've got two doubles in your half double crochet and two doubles in each of your two double crochets in B. Now you're going to continue working around, you're going to put two doubles in each of the next eight double crochet. So this is going to be a total of 16. So one, you're going to put two in each, so there's two for that one three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then thirteen, and fourteen. Now we've got two more to go, so you're up here to this one, so you're going to go right in the stitch there, so that's going to be fifteen, and sixteen. Okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your stitch marker and your hoop here, going to undo this, you're going to pull this one up and take your hook out, and then you're just going to repeat that. So now you're going to grab a hold of your second color, and you're just going to do this same process all the way around. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to go into the next one for two double crochet, and you're just going to work that all the way around till you get up to this point. And you can keep going and going because all you're doing at this point is you're doing nothing but solid increasing rounds. And it's just going to keep growing. Um, and like I said, now you understand why I say you can do it with two, three, four colors. You just keep switching back and forth. And you're not disconnecting any of your colors. Um, so you know, you'll uh, just keep going in a spiral all the way around. And I would definitely recommend you trying uh, more than uh, two colors if you like. And I apologize for my yarn, guys. I don't know why all of a sudden it's not enough on me. There we go. So you're just going to keep going all the way around. And these turn out, like I say, they're really beautiful. Okay, so you see how nice that is? Beautiful colors, and your color with these is essential to making your spirals look beautiful. So you're just going to go all the way around, and then you're going to get here, you're going to take your stitch marker out of here, and then you're going to replace that to this stitch, which is going to be over here, of course. And then you're just going to pick up your gray, you're going to drop your burgundy color, and then you're just going to keep working your spiral. So you can try this with three colors or four colors if you like. It's exactly the same. You're just going to use one color at a time. And I love it. Love it, love it. 
Okay, so if you guys happen to try this and you do more than two colors, um, by all means post it on my uh, Facebook at um, Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Stitch and Stacy. It's always in the description box below the video. Uh, you can also email me uh, pictures of your work, this and anything you do at uh, Stitch and Stacy at yahoo.com. So um, experiment with this one. This one's rather fun to do, actually. Um, and like I say, your color creativity is going to make this pop. Okay, so again, this is your, called your two-color spiral. Okay, and you just keep working and increasing and just keep working yourself around. Okay, so uh, till my next weekly Wednesday pattern next week, guys, I wish you a happy day and happy hooking.